Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on Wellness KE. My name is Fatma. Here on Wellness KE, we like to offer women great information and solutions. That way they can be able to improve their reproductive health. I want to remind you that you can be able to hit that like button because once you like this video, YouTube is actually going to share it with more women. That way they can benefit from this information. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because once you're subscribed, you'll know every single time we post a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can be able to get rid of hormonal acne for good. So let's get to it. So if you've clicked on this video, then you want to learn how you can be able to get rid of hormonal acne for good. Before we get started, as always, I want to give a big congratulations to our Wellness KE ladies who have been using our herbal products and they've managed to clear hormonal acne for good. Ladies, continue with what you are doing because this is going to lead to clearer skin and also a healthier body because all the products that we propose are supposed to be natural and they are currently helping many women. So if you suffer from hormonal acne, I know how frustrating that is. When I had fibroids, I actually had hormonal acne uh, around my chin, the jawline, and also around my cheeks, and it was horrible. I had a very hard time trying to get rid of it. At that time, I thought that maybe I needed to use too many products or exfoliants so that I could be able to get rid of the acne. But the truth of the matter is the issue was more hormonal, especially at that time since I had fibroids, that meant I had hormonal imbalance. And that's why I want to bring this news to you. You really need to focus on your hormones in order for you to deal with this type of acne and you'll never have it ever again, especially once you've balanced your hormones naturally. So before we get started, I actually want to um, give you a simple definition of hormonal acne. Basically, hormonal acne is acne that is caused by hormonal fluctuations. And hormonal fluctuations happen different stages in a woman's life. For instance, a girl who has just hit puberty might have hormonal fluctuations and she'll end up having acne, especially around the T-zone, which is on your forehead and your nose and sometimes even on your cheeks. And also you can go through hormonal fluctuations during your period or when you have PMS symptoms and things like that. And during this time, you might end up having hormonal acne because your hormones are also um, out of work and sometimes imbalanced um, during this time. Also, when you're pregnant, during pregnancy, women tend to have hormonal fluctuations and this can actually lead to hormonal acne. Um, also, even when you're not pregnant or you're way past puberty, but you're still in your reproductive years, you might end up having hormonal fluctuations or what we call hormonal imbalance issues, which is actually what uh, many women are suffering from. It's leading to conditions like fibroids and PCOS and, um, and also hormonal acne. So being in your reproductive years means you might actually end up having hormonal acne. And last but not least, menopause. So menopause is actually one of the reasons that women can have acne, hormonal acne, because during menopause, you actually uh, experience a dip in estrogen and progesterone, and they actually go very, very low. Um, and because of that, some women go through something called hormone replacement therapy, and this is where they introduce um, a synthetic uh, or a foreign form of hormone known as progestin so that it can counter this particular imbalance and long exposure to this particular um, synthetic hormone can lead to hormonal acne. So we've learned about the different stages that women might end up having hormonal acne. Now I want to give you some terms so that you can be able to understand when we start the conversation. And the first term is androgens. Androgens are basically uh, male hormones and examples of androgens are uh, DHEA or testosterone. And for the sake of this particular conversation, we're actually going to focus more on testosterone. Um, you learn more in a bit because this is actually the hormone that is quite notorious when it, uh, when it comes to hormonal acne. Another term that I also want to bring forth is sebaceous glands. And sebaceous glands happen to be glands that are located or on the surface of your body, your entire body, with an exception of your palms and your feet. And the sebaceous glands have a one purpose, which is to release um, a sebum. 
and sebum is another term i want to bring out to your attention and sebum is actually very useful its purpose is to um, it is an oily substance and its purpose is to moisturize your skin so this particular oily substance is what is known as sebum also another term i want to bring to your attention is comedogenic comedogenic is basically a term that is used for products that uh, can actually clog your pores so your skin has pores and sometimes when you use certain products like skincare products or makeup you might end up clogging your pores and these products are known as comedogenic and also another term is non-comedogenic and as you guessed these are products that actually do not clog your pores so if you do suffer from acne it's important whenever you're reaching out for any skincare products or makeup look for non-comedogenic products because these ones do not clog your pores okay so now let's get into the conversation what causes acne okay so high levels of a hormone known as testosterone actually causes acne so how does this happen when your body actually produces high amounts of this hormone known as testosterone testosterone in high amounts leads to the enlargement of sebaceous glands the glands that are located on the surface of your body and your skin so when these glands are enlarged unfortunately this will actually lead to an overproduction of sebum sebum which happens to be the oily substance so now you have high amounts of testosterone then you have enlarged sebaceous glands which leads to an overproduction of sebum which is the oily substance and when you have an overproduction of sebum what happens is the bad bacteria actually surrounds this overproduction of sebum and starts feeding on it and eventually this leads to inflammation and it leads to acne so this is the process actually that leads to acne it starts with high amounts of a hormone so you really have to focus on the hormone if you want to get rid of the hormonal acne for good but maybe you're asking yourself what actually leads to high levels of testosterone high amounts of testosterone could be due to several factors for instance women who suffer from pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome tend to have high amounts of insulin and high amounts of insulin raises testosterone so that's why you'll find women who have pcos have different symptoms but one of them includes hormonal acne so if you really want to counter the acne and get rid of it for good you have to focus on the hormone testosterone another reason that you know your body could be um, having high levels of testosterone could also be if you are on a certain type of contraceptive um, or you've just come out of come off of a, a contraceptive this could actually lead to high levels of testosterone also stress is a factor that could increase your amounts of testosterone in the body this is because whenever you're stressed you release a stress hormone known as cortisol cortisol is actually released by your adrenal glands and these are glands that are located on top of your kidneys so high amounts of cortisol actually raises testosterone so if you really are in a constant uh, state of stress that means you're always going to be raising your levels of testosterone and this is going to lead to acne something else is also high amounts of fat cells in your body so if you are obese or overweight then you have high amounts of fat cells this is because fat cells also produce testosterone and this leads to acne so if you really want to get rid of acne one of the ways is also to make sure that you manage your weight because if you are overweight um, and i'm talking about you've checked your bmi body mass index you checked your height and your weight and you made sure that you're not overweight you're not obese uh, you are at a healthy weight if you are at a healthy weight then this is not something that should concern you but if you're not at a healthy weight and you are overweight then you have to focus on that because your fat cells could actually lead to um production of uh, overproduction of sebum because this is actually caused by high amounts of testosterone so another factor is also high amounts of a certain enzyme there's a certain enzyme that actually when it is in high amounts it actually turns testosterone into dht and dht is a more powerful form of testosterone so this particular enzyme when in excess it actually turns testosterone into dht making it even more powerful meaning it's actually going to cause even more stubborn acne 
but what is it that actually causes high amounts of this particular enzyme it's a vitamin a deficiency when you're deficient in vitamin a then this actually leads to an overproduction of this particular enzyme that actually leads to high amounts of testosterone and turning it into dht so this is why whenever you look at products that are supposed to cater to acne prone skin they might actually have vitamin a in there and that's because they're trying to actually counter this particular enzyme and you can actually do this naturally even though it won't work immediately but over time you'll be dealing with the issue once and for all so now that we've been able to understand what actually happens to your body and what forms acne and why you have high levels of testosterone right now i want to jump into what you can actually do to make sure that you get rid of hormonal acne for good so the first thing is your diet i know we always talk about diet because um, this is actually one of the most important things that i keep advising and advocating for so that women can be able to embrace a healthier lifestyle diet actually plays an 80 percent role in how your body looks and feels and your skin is the largest organ so if you're not healthy, it'll show on your skin. And it's not just on the surface. It actually starts from the root and from within, as we've discussed. So when it comes to diet, there are certain foods that can actually help you in getting rid of acne for good. For instance, foods that are high in vitamin A or vitamin A rich foods. This is because a deficiency in vitamin A actually produces that enzyme that's going to turn testosterone into DHT and we don't want that so make sure that you get your hands on some good quality uh, cod liver oil or other foods rich in vitamin A like butternut actually vitamin A foods are, are quite common we are going to be listing them right now um, and showing you images so that you can be able to know what foods you should reach out for but remember always add vitamin A foods to your diet this is going to be highly beneficial Another type of food that's going to be beneficial when it comes to getting rid of acne is plant-based foods. So plant-based foods are foods that are wholesome, they are natural, and they are plant-based. So your leafy greens and your uh, plant-based sources of protein, because we're finding out that foods like red meat and um, foods like dairy products actually do trigger acne. So if you want, you can try and switch to a plant-based diet for a couple of days or weeks and watch how your skin actually transforms. And if it does transform, which I'm sure it will, then you will know that there are certain foods that are animal sources that keep triggering the acne and you'll be able to make the changes. Um, another type of food that you should always get your hands on if you want to get rid of acne is anti-inflammatory foods. This is because, as we've discussed, acne is formed because of the excess amounts of the sebum and this actually leads to bad bacteria feeding on it and also leads to inflammation. This is how acne is formed. So you need foods that are anti-inflammatory because whenever you eat foods that are inflammatory, it's actually going to lead to many health complications, including acne. So you really want to focus on anti-inflammatory foods so that you can be able to get rid of hormonal acne for good. Also, um, if you want to get rid of hormonal acne, you have to start taking certain herbs. There are certain herbs that are actually quite beneficial. For instance, neem is one of them. This is actually used in Ayurveda, which is an Indian form of uh, treatment that is an Indian form of medicine that is actually quite beneficial. And neem um, in its own is just very beneficial to the skin. And it's also very beneficial because it is um, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiseptic, and so many other qualities. So you need to start taking neem. You could take it as a tea, neem tea, or you can actually use it as a paste and use it on your skin. But this is actually going to be highly beneficial. Also, neem is really good at, is really essential for lowering levels of insulin. Because when you have high levels of insulin, unfortunately, this actually raises testosterone. So you counter that naturally by making sure that you use neem to cater to, you know, your health from within and also on the surface. Another hub that's beneficial is green tea. If you go online and try to research, you'll find that green tea is mentioned everywhere. 
And there's a reason for that. So green tea is actually very beneficial because it contains antioxidants. It's also anti-inflammatory. It contains EGCG, which is beneficial to your skin. Um, it fights acne. It also balances your hormones. It lowers levels of insulin. And insulin, as we know, leads to raised levels of testosterone. So green tea can be actually taken as a tea or you can use it topically. You can make the tea, put it in the fridge and then use it topically. You can take cotton swabs and actually use it all over your face. I've tried this when I had acne and it worked well. And there are so many women who are currently using our green tea and it's helping them with their acne. So this particular hub is very important. Another one is turmeric. Turmeric is actually an anti-inflammatory herb and it's highly beneficial when it comes to taking care of your skin. This is because turmeric is the king of anti-inflammatory foods and we'll never stop praising it because it keeps on working and it does an amazing job. I never stop putting turmeric on my face because I've realized that it actually caters to every skin type and it's highly beneficial when it comes to acne. So you can prepare it as a tea and actually drink it and also you can use it topically and make a face pack or a face mask, a scrub, something like that is actually going to be beneficial when it comes to getting rid of hormonal acne for good. Also tea tree is very beneficial because tea tree is anti-inflammatory. And again, we want to use um, herbs that are anti-inflammatory so that they can be able to reduce inflammation and you can be able to um, actually have healthy, clear skin and get rid of the acne for good. But before you use tea tree, make sure you do enough research and make sure that you use it the proper way. If you're using tea tree oil, you need to have a carrier oil with it. It could be any other kind of oil, but just make sure that you use it in the right way as you introduce it to your skin because you're going to be doing something new to your skin. Also, foods rich in zinc are highly beneficial. Zinc is actually very important because it helps to um, actually lower that enzyme that we talked about, the enzyme that actually turns testosterone into DHT. So you want to introduce more zinc into your diet and uh, pumpkin seeds are actually zinc rich foods that are quite common and you can add them to your soup, you can use them in your smoothies, you can take them as a snack. Just make sure that you constantly add foods rich in zinc into your diet. Okay, so I want to actually put out a disclaimer. I know most people normally like to uh, capitalize on women who have hormonal acne and they're always giving them a product claiming that it's actually going to get rid of all the acne once and for all. But what I really wanted for you to learn is what happens to your body such that you end up having this acne. And I also wanted for you to know that when you use a product um, so that you can apply it topically, you also need to work on your skin from within. So making sure that you balance your hormones, you change your diet, you add the herbs and the herbal teas, and then you can add the products. So speaking of products, um, what are some of the great products that you can be able to use in order for you to take care of hormonal acne for good? Well, I'll mention uh, a term that you've probably seen on many skincare products, AHAs and BHAs. Um, these are alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. So AHAs and BHAs are very important. They're basically chemical exfoliants and they actually help to exfoliate your skin, but deeper. And they are very, very important. They can actually be sourced from plants or from animals, but these chemical exfoliants are currently helping women who have acne. So if you're looking for a solution that's topical, then look for products that have AHAs in them and BHAs. But I want to point out that AHAs are actually highly beneficial um, when it comes to women who have acne, but then they have dry skin. Okay, so here's the difference. AHAs are water soluble and BHAs are oil soluble. So meaning with BHAs, they can actually penetrate your skin and actually cut through the oil, which is sebum, and make sure that they get to exfoliate, reduce inflammation, and get rid of the acne. So a combination of AHAs and BHAs is actually going to work well for you if you have acne, but make sure that you do enough research before you introduce anything new to your skincare regimen. Also, make sure that you reach out to your healthcare professional 
um, or your dermatologist explain to them about your condition that way they can be able to recommend a product for you and as they recommend they can actually guide you as you use the products so today we really wanted for you to understand what causes acne and what foods you can be able to use to get rid of acne for good I really want to urge you to take care of yourself and take care of your health from within because this is going to lead to healthier and glowy skin on the outside. So it's not a matter of just dealing with it from one area. Let's actually use all this information so that we can get rid of the acne for good. In our next videos, we're actually going to be talking about some natural remedies, some products. We'll even show you some more stuff so that you can be able to know how to take care of the skin. But if you found this video helpful, I want to urge you to hit that like button. Make sure that you let us know in the comment section below. And also let us know what you'd like to learn more about when it comes to your skin. Because this is something that affects so many women. And God knows we all need the advice. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because once you're subscribed, you'll know every single time we post a new video. My name is Fatma. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.